So as you can tell from the title of this video, well, this app makes video editing very easy. And today I'm going to walk you through how to use it. But before I start doing that, I want to show you guys three features that I think most of you will love, especially if you are creating videos for your YouTube channel. So that um, even though you are feeling like eh, there's nothing special, it's just going to be like every other app. Well, you're going to see that there's a difference here. So I'm going to launch the app and it's going to ask me for permissions to view my files. This way the app will be able to view my audio, video and all the files that I have on my phone, at least on Android. So if you're using an iPhone, I don't know if this app is available for Apple devices, but um, yeah, this is for Android. So tap on allow and uh, yeah this is the app so first I want to show you guys if you come up here and then you click on this well you have all these social media platforms so the app has its own music created by maybe the developers of the app I'm not really sure and uh, if you want to use the music since it's copyright then you can just come over here and just impute your YouTube channel so that if the music ever gets a copyright strike, well, at least they'll see your YouTube channel link and they'll know that, okay, yeah, you have already registered with the video editing app so that um, you don't get copyright strikes. So that's the first thing. And the next things are in the app, like in the editing part of the app. So I'm going to launch the app now so you guys can see them for yourselves. So I'm going to close this. So if you are ready to start editing your videos, you just need to come up here or down here and then you tap on new project. And now you're going to see all the videos that you have on your phone. Um, if you just want to see pictures, you tap on here to see your pictures, but uh, these are the videos I have. So if you want to select a video, you just tap on the video itself to select it. So I'm going to select these two. And um, if you are not sure of a video, maybe you have so many videos with the same thumbnail or with the same you know, cover image, you can tap on this button here to have a preview of the video so you know that okay yeah this is the right video to take and you can scroll through here to see the video just to make sure of it all right so i selected these videos but maybe you made a mistake you can tap here to unselect the video or you can tap on this button here to unselect the video i'm going to select both of them just to have two videos to work with all right so after selecting your videos you tap on this button here and then you wait for the app to load and yeah so another really good feature about this app is this button here if you tap on it you're going to see that the timeline has been expanded this way if you have many videos stacked over each other then you'll be able to see them in a better way in this video i'll not be showing you guys how to stack multiple videos together that will be in the advanced tutorial so if you want to see that make sure you give this video a like and make sure you subscribe for more tutorials like this so this is the first video I selected when I was importing the videos and the second video will be at the end. If you want to see the videos, you can swipe the screen to, you know, see the videos to scroll through the timeline. But an easier way is to tap on this. This will take you to the end of the clip that's in front of the playhead. This white line is the playhead. So if I tap on it, it will go to the end of the first video and then to the beginning of the second video. So that's another reason why I like this app. It's very easy to navigate through the videos so we have all these options down here and i'll talk about them in a little bit but first let's talk about editing your videos because that's what you're going to be doing anyways so if you tap on the video you're going to see the audio wave so this is another reason why i like the app because with these audio waves i know when the video like i know when something happens like around here there's a spike so that means that something good happens or something loud <laughs> And uh, it was an explosion because this is a gaming video. I just, um, I'm just using it to make this tutorial. And um, from here, I can see where the game actually begins. Because if I give it a play from the beginning of the video, you see that, uh, well, nothing really happens. It's just me just playing around with the menu and just, you know, going through the my loadouts. Those of you that play Call of Duty Mobile will understand, but um, for you, just imagine you have your video, maybe you are getting prepared to start speaking and all these parts will be just dead silence or just you preparing yourself. So you don't want that. So you want to start where the action begins and um, right around here, I think, yeah, right around here is where the action begins. So what I'll do is I'll just forward it a bit you can just scroll through by dragging and swiping left and right and when you get to the part where you want the video to start then you tap on split 
Now, as you can see, the split has, uh, well, basically split the video into two. So this part is not useful, so you can delete it. And then, yeah, now the video starts from where the action begins. So if I give it a play, you're going to see that, yeah, it starts with the gameplay. So this button here is to undo what you just did. And the last action we took was the delete. So if I tap on it, that part that was deleted has been brought back. If I tap on this, it's going to go to the end of the part that I deleted and to the beginning of the other part. I hope that makes sense. So if I undo it again, it's going to, you know, put the videos back together because I actually split it. So I did that for two reasons. To let you guys know that you can use these buttons to do and undo stuff. And secondly, an easier way to, you know, trim a video because all this part is not useful is by coming down here and if you use this button here it's going to get rid of every part from the playhead to the left of the video so i'm going to tap on it so you see that part is gone so it's an easier way to cut videos so now you know how to use the split and the from now you're not always going to be using this part but uh, you're going to be using this one and uh, i wish i could just give this video a play but it may be too long and I didn't make a lot of errors in the video. If not, I would show you guys and um, cut out those errors. But let's say I didn't like this part where this guy was shot. Yeah, right about here. So I can just split it and then move a bit forward. And then I split it again. And there will be a clip in between so I can zoom in by pinching out with two fingers. And then this is the clip. So I can delete this part. And yeah, that part will be gone. So if I give it a play, you're not going to see me shooting the guy, this guy. So it just cuts to this next part. All right, so that's how you use the split. So when I did the split, you guys saw that it was a bit hard for me to find the exact place to cut. And uh, that's another reason why I like this app. With it, you can, you know, specify selected frames that you want to cut. So you have these buttons here. This button will go forward one frame and this one will go backward one frame. So if I tap on it, you see that it has gone backward one frame. So this is going to help you to make precise cuts whenever you're trying to use the split button. Or I don't know, for any reason you may want to select a particular frame. So you can use this to be precise. So I just scroll to this part of the video where the whole screen goes black. So if I tap on split, then the cut has been made. And then I'm going to move forward to yeah around here and then i'll tap on this if i tap on it then this part from here to here will be deleted so it's gone and if i tap on this one this right part to the playhead will also be deleted so that's how you use from now and uh, until now so after you're done working with the particular clip you can tap on this to exit the clip so that it shows you the whole timeline if you tap on the clip, it's going to bring up these uh, options. Now, all these options, I will not explain speed. That should be in the advanced tutorial. So we have the volume option. And um, you can tell that um, this video has audio. However, this one doesn't have audio because you can't see the audio waves. Well, anyways, let's say I want to increase the volume of this one. I can tap on this and then increase it. It's not going to affect every other video clip. It's only going to affect this one unless you tap on apply to all. However, I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to show you guys that it's possible to just increase the volume of a particular clip. Next, we have the animation. So this is useful if you're going to start a video from the beginning. So let me just tap on this to head over to the beginning. So as you can see, when the video starts, it just starts. But if you use this animation feature, you're going to get a lot of... Um, interesting ways to start your videos and also end them so if you tap on this frame in this means that um, how the video starts so you're going to see a lot of options i like using the fade in so if i tap on it you see the video is now black and if i give it a play it starts to reveal itself so that's how the fade in works you can also increase the duration if you want it to be longer than one second so I've made it five seconds and uh, you can see it takes five seconds for the video to go from black to completely visible. I'm going to cancel it because I don't want to include it. Now, if I tap on frame out and I tap on fade out, you see, it's actually working with the clip that was selected. And you know, we already cut the clip. So 
whenever you want to fade out a video make sure you're doing it at the end of the entire video not just the clip that you're working with so i'm going to remove this one and then yeah this is the last part of the video itself so this is where i can do the fade out and i can do this one to make it go from visible to black and there are other animations that you can choose from so you just go through the list and you decide which one you want so for the adjustments you get to adjust the brightness by typing on it and uh, you can increase the brightness if you want contrast you can increase or decrease that you know just get creative here and do it the way you want just don't go too extreme so people don't feel like they don't understand what they are watching so you can just go through the list and adjust until you know your video looks good enough for you so if it's good enough for you then it's definitely going to be good enough for other people and after you're done you tap on this but since i'm not doing anything i'm just going to close this so the other options we have here i will not be talking about them for now maybe i'll talk about the scale the scale is just to increase the size of the video like just zoom in so maybe in the future i'll be showing you guys how to create a zoom in effect so those are the features that you can use while working with a single clip and then if I just tap outside here, you'll notice that um, between each cut, there's a tiny black box. Let me scroll to this part. There's another box here. And then um, let me just make another cut here. If I tap on this and I tap on split and I go back, you see the box here. So these are transitions. And uh, if I tap on it, you're going to see a lot of transitions that you can use to switch from one clip to another. So I like using glitches and uh, I'll select this one for this box. And I can increase how long I want the glitch to last. So this slider helps me decide. And uh, I wish it was showing me the time, but it's not right now. So if I give it a play, you're going to see that... Um, yeah, the video makes that transition from this clip onto this clip. We also have this box here. This one doesn't have a transition yet, but I'm going to give it one now. So I'll select this dissolve and I'll increase the slider. You can decide how long you want the transition to last. So if I give it a play now, you're going to see that's how it switches from this clip onto this one. This is not really visible, but if I do the transition here, if I tap on this box here, and I, I'll just select this one and increase the so as you can see the transition is more visible here because it's between two entirely different videos so that's why it's more visible here so that's how you apply transitions whenever there are two videos that have a cut or a split between them then you can add transitions so I will leave the transitions by typing in this However, you should know that there are tons of transitions. You just need to tap on here to see all the transitions. You may have to download most of them. And uh, yeah, you just go through the list and select the ones you want. You can also slide here to choose your transitions. All right, so next we're going to talk about effects. Now effects can be used to you know, create different visual effects to your videos. So let's say you want your video to go from colored to black and white. So you can come down here to effect and then you tap on effects again. And you're going to see a bunch of effects now this is under the hot effect but um, if you go to the basic for me I want to use the gray effect so I'm just going to scroll till I find the gray effect and this is it right here so if I tap on it it's going to apply to the video and then I'm going to tap on this button here as you can see the effect has been applied down here now remember as long as this is selected you're going to get all these options down here and uh, let's say I want the effect to actually start from way earlier in the video. So let's say around here when these two guys get blasted. So <laughs> you know the effect is still selected. So I'm just going to tap on from now. And it has been, you know, stretched out to this part of the video. So if I give it a play now. From here to where the effect stops is uh, going to be black and white. So let's say I only want the effect to last this long. I can tap on pause. And since the effect is still selected, I'll tap on from now. And uh, yeah, this is how long the effect is going to last. I just trimmed it quickly using these buttons here. There are tons of other effects that you can choose from. Just make sure you go through the list here. And uh, yeah, you're going to find really cool effects. There's one I really like, which I want to show you guys. 
So I'm just going to head over to the video of the singing girl, even though you can't hear her singing. So I'm going to tap on effect and I have it saved as one of my favorites and this is it right here. So after tapping on it, I'll just tap on this to confirm and then I'm going to I'm going to stretch out the effect. Uh, okay, I'll leave it this way. Alright, so I'm going to give it a play so you guys can see. It's lagging a bit, but uh, you can see the video player actually maps out the girl's like body and just follows it along. And after it's done, you can see that it stops. So there are lots of cool effects that you can use with this app. So you just need to go through them and uh, see the one that you want. And uh, if you don't want an effect, you can just delete it. But uh, I'll leave it for now. Maybe I'll use this as my screenshot. I'm not really sure yet. Alright, so the final thing I want to show you guys for this basic tutorial is the aspect ratio. So that if you want to create videos for TikTok or YouTube, well, you can do that from here. Make sure you are not selecting any clips. If you have a clip selected, you just need to tap on this button here and um, the clip will be unselected. So you want to come down here to ratio. And unfortunately, this app doesn't show you which aspect ratio is useful for you know, different platforms. But for YouTube videos, select 16 by 9. And um, for TikTok or Instagram Reels, you can select 9 by 16. So it's going to be this tall video, not the stretched out one. And uh, yeah, I usually make YouTube videos, so 16 by 9 is what I'm going to use. Alright, so after you've selected your aspect ratio, you can tap on this. But if you just want to use the original aspect ratio of the video, then you tap on this. And uh, yeah, it's going to remain that way. As you can see, it has created these black bars. But as you can see, there are no black bars here. And the reason why is because this is the first video I imported. So the app is going to feel like, uh, let me just use this video's aspect ratio. Because uh, if it was recorded this way, then I'm sure the person that wants to work with it wants it to be in this aspect ratio. But uh, if you recorded your video with your phone in the vertical mode, then it's going to come up with the TikTok aspect ratio like this one. All right, so hopefully you guys understand. But if I tap on 16 by 9, you're going to see black bars here and here. So this is the ideal YouTube aspect ratio. Anyways, this is advanced, so maybe I'll create a separate video on it. However, I'll suggest you guys do more research on aspect ratios. So after you have selected the aspect ratio, you tap on this to apply it. So after you're done editing your video, you know, removing all the bad parts and your retakes, then the next thing to do is to export the video. And to export your video, you come up here and you select the resolution of the video. So you can go from SD, which is like um, 360 or 320 to full HD which is 1080p. I'm not sure if this is limited by my device but um, I've seen editors that go up to 4k but if this one doesn't have 4k then 1080p is still very good. So when you're ready you can tap on this to export it and you're going to find the video in your video player or your gallery app. And yeah that's how you edit videos with Vita. Hopefully I've done justice to the app so that um, if you just want to create basic videos then uh, you can use this tutorial as a guide. But uh, I'll be making an advanced tutorial on how to use most of the options here. And uh, if you guys want that, then make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And you can leave your questions. And um, if I can answer them in the comments, then I will. But if they require videos to answer, then I'll try to make videos to answer your questions. But regardless of that, I hope you guys will have a great day. And uh, yeah, take care of yourself. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.